So everybody, this is part two. So you can see a little bit of my living space. Uh, this is the couch in my camper. It also, it's what they call a jackknife couch. So it can fold out and sleep another person in here when I have visitors. There is my gnome community. Uh, they keep me company when I'm really going rum dummy. And uh, my wonderful cowboy hat that I got at a thrift store. It's the real deal. It's beaver. And if you're familiar with uh, beaver hats, it will withstand rain and just about everything. It's the real deal. I'm going to bring it, come a little closer. You can, see, you can see this rancher hat. I got it at a thrift store for about 20 bucks. And I looked it up online, the brand and everything. Lo and behold, it's worth about 250 so who is not for thrift stores and uh there's my little doggy that is keeping me company along with gracie my dog pup uh, hat and then my favorite hat to keep the sun off of me and here is my oh i'll just keep it this way my uh entertainment center as you can see i've got a dvd player and radio and TV and of course, may I zero in on this? A necessary component is my espresso machine and whisker that uh, my friend Tammy gave me so I can actually uh, whip anything that's going in there and my pods, which are very expensive. Uh, and there is more of my hat collection. Um, we have a lot of wind outside today, which is what you're hearing. I've got a, uh, woo, it's really blowing. I've got a, a skylight, which brings a lot of light in here, and my controls. Here is my refrigerator freezer, and I can actually fit quite a bit in there. Uh, it's a fairly good size refrigerator freezer. My galley which uh, as you can see, I'm reminded to give thanks with a grateful heart, my three burner stove and where I do my dishes and hang my, uh, Gracie's leash. And uh, then as you can see, there is Gracie in all of her glory in her office. Actually, the bed is quite comfortable. My dear friend, Chris, who sold me the rig, um, really want to make sure that there was a good bed in this rig and there is and it ends up becoming where gracie can lay and look out the window she's such a hard-working pup as you can see and it becomes my workstation for writing uh, my blog and uh, other writing and um, correspondence and watching my TV and watching movies and sometimes eating and of course then are my pictures uh, to remind me I am not alone that Jesus is on this journey with me and I'm grateful for that Gracie really wants to be in the in the video as you can see and I will take you into my bathroom so we will go right in here and you can kind of get an idea of my living space here is my vanity so um, complete with the medicine cabinet hanging uh, cupboards where I can hang my clothes and cabinets down below for more storage my commode we're doing my business, my shower, and actually a bathtub, which I use right now for storage of things when I'm not moving. And that's also where I wash Gracie, give her baths. And you can see on either side of the bed, I have also uh, hanging closets with full length mirrors so I can uh, check out and see how good I look before I go to work, before I sing at some of these places. And I'm going to take you out to the rig on the outside. There's a lot of wind, so you may hear a lot of noise, but then you can see what it is. Woo! It's a sunny day in Arizona. And here is my rig from the outside. It's 21 feet, 
It is a Keystone Passport. Bring you along to, I have uh, two propane tanks that I can run my heater on uh, if need be, or and my gas stove, as well as my batteries, which I just learned recently do require water being put in. A wonderful sign that uh, Ken and Kay and Sharon and Jack helped put up before I left Littleton. And I didn't realize until I was driving one day and looked in the rear view mirror and saw the sign says, where you lead, I will follow. I was thinking about me following Jesus, but it's kind of profound that my trailer also will follow wherever I lead. Good thing to know, huh? I do have a slide out, which is where my uh, living room sits, as well as my water hookup. Gracie can look out the window and see my sewage, which is a necessary part when I'm not boondocking. And, of course, my infamous sign on the back that Kay, Ken, Sharon, and Jack helped me put up, The Mighty Mushers, which also advertises the book I wrote. And there is my little Gracie City next to Molly. And you would be amazed at how many times I get honks and, and uh, high fives and thumbs up when people pass me and see that. And... Uh, I do have an awning, which I'm still trying to figure out how to put out, but today is not a good day for that with the wind. And I will close our tour with, well, you can see on my door, welcome to our home. And uh, my favorite, re one of my favorite reminders is the sign on my wall, being grateful for what we have turns what we have into enough. Remember that, everybody. Have a great day.